Well, it's always something. We made it here to Flagstaff. Last night we camped at Williams and it was great. And I got too cocky and I was all excited because we didn't have issues. And uh, I think we blew a transmission line. I am up to invisible ground. Don't know when to stop returning. It's not the way for me. Only a mile to go. Somewhere I belong. I'll see it clear now. I learning the path as I go. Bubbles. What's going on in here, bud? Toto, what does that mean? Oh, choo choos. All right, guys. Um Day one, back on the road with two kids, and we have an incredibly long drive day through very hot temperatures. Wish us luck. If you're not familiar with who we are, we are Melissa, Jesse, Lincoln, Hudson, and our channel is called Adventure Endeavor. Today we are making a drive from Southern California, most likely to Flagstaff will be our first night stop, and then eventually on to Colorado. Um, yeah, we look forward to being back on the road. It has been quite a while here, kind of hunkered down our home base. You know, just having a baby, no big deal. And uh, what do you think, bud? This is our first time with two kids, so we try are trying to split them up. I have Lincoln with me in the Jeep, and Melissa has Hudson. That was our game plan. We'll see how it works. For the last about four months straight um, and we've been in the Southern California area in general basically since like October of last year staying close by for all of the doctor's appointments that I needed to have while I was pregnant and then when it got closer to my due date we settled down stationary in our RV and we welcomed Hudson into the world eight weeks ago. He <laughs> two months old on Monday. And today is the day that we are leaving town. We are heading towards southwestern Colorado and doing the drive over several days, a couple short hops, and also doing like gradual elevation changes to get the kids especially Hudson, um, acclimated to the elevation change. This is our first stop, which is Barstow, California. So far, all systems have been pretty good. The one issue that we are having is the trailer seems to be swaying a lot more than it used to. And I think that's because I added this water tank here, and because I knew I'd be carrying more weight in the front occasionally i kind of moved some of our stuff around and now i think we do not have enough tongue weight so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to move our big rubber boat from the back bay to the front bay that weighs 100 pounds and uh, that was something we moved in anticipation of this but this tank is empty so i think the boat has to go in the front because it's just too much weight in the rear over a lot of the expansion joints and the bridges and stuff like that it's causing the trailer to wag quite a bit and melissa is towing she's not stoked on it and i'm not stoked on it because i saw her a couple times and it looked sketchy melissa lincoln and hud are all eating i'm gonna go ahead and try to move this boat and then hopefully we will be a lot better as far as our weight distribution of the trailer front to back you look so cool man <laughs> Home is where you park it. Finally back on the road after I don't even know how many months. 
but it feels good. We made it here to Williams, Arizona. Well, we're right outside Williams, Arizona. A fairly solid travel day. It was a six and a half hour drive with two little ones. The kids did great. Only thing that we battled was the heat. Vehicles got warm at times, but we didn't have any issues. The Jeep's AC could barely keep up, which is what it is. I got it fixed. It's working well. It's just, it's an older vehicle. It just can't do 115 degrees like we saw today. The Ram was fine. The Ram is a freaking beast. We love this truck. And we got our awning out. And believe it or not, we are running the air conditioner right now off of our solar because we can do that and it's hot it's super hot and it's windy so i might have to bring the awning in tomorrow i think we're gonna just go to flagstaff go a little bit past flagstaff camp another night we're kind of getting huddy uh used to the elevation as, as well as lincoln you know little kids are they can't tell you what's going on with them so they can't tell you if they have some elevation sickness so we're spending a couple nights here and then we're moving on to colorado that'll be our uh third night will be our first night in colorado but love this area still a little warm it's about 95 degrees but these are kind of just the, the mountains right here behind Williams. Uh, How was your travel day? You had a good travel day? Yeah. Bad time, yeah. You had a cheeseburger? What are you having now? What are you eating? Don't eat with a microphone. What are you eating right now? Bonsai. You're eating blueberries? Yeah. Did we go to In-N-Out Burger today? Yeah. Did you have a fun travel day with Mama and Daddy? Hi. Who? Say hello, YouTube. Hello. Well, it's always something. We made it here to Flagstaff. Last night we camped at Williams and it was great. And I got too cocky and I was all excited because we didn't have issues. We're here camped at the Cinders and uh, I think we blew a transmission line. So you can see we got all sorts of fluid down here. It appears to be transmission fluid. So let's pull the inner wheel well to see what else I can see. Not stoked on it, but what are you gonna do? Except try to fix it and move on. All right guys, this is the funnest part of RV life. Got the bad hose out. Got the new hose, the $550 hose. I'm gonna put it on from here forward. It is a pain in the butt to get it in there. I actually just cut the old one out. It's gonna take me a while to get the new one in. You could see right here, that's where it was rubbing on the turbo for some reason. So I'm gonna try to isolate that, cover it with some rubber, and maybe bend it slightly down out of the way. I think the key is going to be pulling all of these guys off first and then installing them afterwards because it comes with everything crimped on. Problem is, is with these brackets, you can't pull it through the tight area that is inside the wheel well. All right, guys, back on the road. Stayed in flag a couple extra days, got the truck fixed, hopefully. And um, we're leaving right now. We got a beautiful sunrise. Our game plan lately, leaving early seems to work well, so we're hopping out of here and hopefully we make it to, to our destination, which is Durango, Colorado. Wish us luck. You never know what can happen on travel day. So we made a pit stop for the kids. We're here out off the 160 on some turnout. And uh, this is what's going on. What's going on in here, bud? Toto. Toto? What does that mean? Choo-choo. Oh, choo-choos? Yeah, choo-choos. Mommy got you these cool choo-choos, huh? Yeah. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. Is it nice to take a little break from the car? So. Oh, that's an orange one, huh? That's so cool. So so Hudson had to get a quick bite to eat. Lincoln needed to stretch his legs, maybe have a snack. Dad needed to check the fluid level on the Ram. Mom's gotta go pee. Mom's gotta go pee. I think they, I 
think we need to change diapers too. Diapers for the kids, just, you know, this is just your normal travel day. We have a four and a half hour drive today and we literally left at, I think what, 6 a.m. 5.30 and we're allotting for it to be like a 10 hour drive day because that's just how it is with kids. Yep. We finally made it to our home for the next couple of weeks here in Mancos near Durango. Beautiful spot, we got a fire pit. The sun is out, but there's some clouds. Absolutely love being here in Colorado. It's a pretty rad spot. Uh, we've stayed here before. The entrance is gnarly. Four wheel drive required for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this first video of us back on the road. We love sharing these travel days. A lot of people like them. And of course they're quite different now that we have two little ones. We do our best to film as much as we can, but it is tough because you're moving, you're driving, take care of kids. Also, finally got the transmission lines fixed. Probably should have just got some steel braided lines and done a custom application because those hard lines went back in, but not really perfect. I'm not super stoked on it, but it's good enough for now. And I imagine eventually I'll probably have to end up redoing them one more time, which kind of sucks, but it's the way it goes.